products I'm using. I'm using a tarp to cover large areas of my truck. Uh, I use the uh, painter's paper here uh, to uh, tape off the detail, detail areas. And then I use Rust-Oleum primer, self-etching primer, and then Rust-Oleum truck bed coating. Now the truck bed coating is not like the Linex. It's not that thick, so, but it does provide a nice surface. Then I use this multi-purpose tool uh, sometimes to jam the uh, tape when I trim off the molding uh, to put it underneath the molding. Uh, I use exterior uh, painter's tape which helps uh, secure the tarp, uh, the, the thick black plastic. And then I um, edge out the trim with the regular delicate surface uh, 3M painter's tape. Um, I have the goo gone uh, in case there's a little overspray and I go ahead and I tack it right away. Uh, if you let that paint sit overnight, uh, it's probably going to be there for a long, long time. Uh, and of course a little terry cloth um, to help out and one of these to wipe off the molding when you when you finish sanding. Hey friends, I'm uh, here refinishing the door trim on my 2006 Chevy Silverado and it has over the years has yellowed. Um, I'll show you a picture. And one side was really yellow and the other side was okay but if you want to remove the door trim, uh, the molding on the on the bottom, <clears throat> it, you're going to take a heat gun and you're going to have to melt the adhesive on the back out. Um, but instead, what I'm doing is I'm applying uh, truck bed liner paint to it, uh, and it will match the rest of the trim on my truck. Um, the first thing uh, I do is you got to rough up the trim. Now I'm going to show you um, right here. You rough up the trim. Here's one I haven't worked on. Here's one I've done a coarse grain on here. And what it does is it kind of um, picks up uh, some little threads. It kind of scrapes off some little threads. And what you got to do is after you do a coarse grain uh, sanding on here, uh, go to a very very fine uh, sanding block and move, smooth it out and clean it up with a, a terry cloth uh, to get rid of the, all the rest of the remnants. Um, so that the first step you do well, actually is you tape everything off, make sure it's very secure, uh, you don't get any paint on your truck because this stuff is hard to get off, and then. Uh, rough up the trim, roughen it up so that uh, the etching primer uh, adheres well and then from the etching primer uh, you apply the uh, Rust-Oleum uh, truck bed liner. Now that um, I've applied the etching primer I've done two maybe three three coats uh, evenly and I'll show you uh, what I've done for the etching primer Bear with me, it's hard to see. There we go. Put the etching primer on there. On both of the trim panels. And so it is ready for the paint. When I like to paint this trim, I do the edges first. I do just a very light coating on the corners uh, to get some extra protection there. I probably put about two, maybe three light sprays and uh, before I go ahead and, and paint the rest. Now there's one thing to note on the can it says something about you know eight inches, eight to ten inches away. That's no lie. Uh, you get it too close and it will run really quick so it is best to get further away and um, and do your uh, spray that way because it will clump uh, and drip uh, and if it does uh, what I like to do is I keep a, a paper towel handy 
and as soon as I know I spread too much I go ahead and I start dabbing it just a little bit and take some of it off and I've done it uh, actually twice on this side uh, and but you can't really tell so uh, I am ready to put the rest of the paint on so the next step in painting it um, I do a quick stripe on the tops and the bottom and try to uh, paint those edges first because um, when you start going to the center area uh, it'll overspray onto the top and start dripping so I would suggest that try to do a, a nice coat on the top and the bottom and then do uh, a coat throughout the center let it dry again uh, and then go and do the top and the bottom and repeat until you have the coverage that you need uh, I find about three coats uh, provides a perfect coat. paint is complete and I've done about three or four coats uh, till I have visually seen a pretty even surface it's not perfect um, but it's kind of hard to be perfect with uh, with a can spray but it looks uh, ten times better than it did before a couple things to note that when you do remove the um, the edging around the sides of the molding where um, where you've protected your car be careful because there's still globs of wet paint uh, in between pieces of tape and so forth so as soon as you move a piece of tape just move it away from you as far as you can just take it away they also understand that the um, some of the paper and some of the plastic that I used uh, which I had uh, almost an issue on the other side when I did it um, it had some paint on it and uh, once I removed the tape uh, I, I noticed it went to blow around just a little bit so I kind of grabbed the hold of it just be careful not to get paint uh, back up on your truck from some of the materials you used uh, to protect your truck so um, I'll go ahead and show you the finished product and that my friends is the finished product one thing to note here is I went ahead and removed and I tore the paper near the tape area uh, because the final uh, removal of the tape uh, outlining the door trim is well you don't want any of the paper flapping and hitting the paint or anything like that so I went ahead and and uh, ripped the tape uh, ripped the paper around uh, so that when I remove the tape that's close to the trim it's a little more manageable and here it is my friend complete Looks sweet, even matches the door handle. And that, my friends, is a refinished trim.